we're trying to learn more about what that environment was like, what the climate conditions were like at that time, and use that information to understand how sensitive the Greenland Ice Sheet may be to melting under human-caused climate change in the future. the meteorological measurements and atmospheric measurements humans have done in the last hundred years or so are already influenced by climate change that is human caused. So if we want to see the natural state of climate and natural viability, then we need to go way, way further back in time. This is how the Earth works. If you add too much carbon to the atmosphere, it's going to get too warm, you're going to melt the ice sheets, you're going to change weather patterns, and it's going to make life very difficult for us as humans. Or we can look towards a different path with less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and a future that is not as uh, uncertain and difficult for us. 